Hi everybody, I just wanted to give you an example of what you can do when you lose your key for your locking nut. So this is the pattern style, and for this all you're going to need is a nut, preferably a little smaller than what it is. So these for example are 22s, so I got a 19. So all you're going to need for this is your 19mm socket, something to hold the nut, your nuts, a welder, this is a Lincoln 140, and this is going to be your final product. So as you can see, I'm not the greatest welder out there, but this just shows that anybody can do it. So you start by holding the inside and welding it, and then moving on to the outside if you feel like you need to. Specifically with these ones, I have to weld a nut onto it because I do have this sliding ring here. This will slide whenever I put pliers, anything. So, this is my idea. I take this, I grab my nut. You can use any style you want, and you just hold it here. You hold it here, and you start your weld, and you get all on the inside. And if you need to, you move to the other side. So, I'll show you what it looks like after. So, this would be step one. I added my ground clamp and I just tacked it in lightly just to hold it. Check, make sure it's center, make sure it's even all the way around. Once it is, you can start to weld the inside. So, now that my inside is all welded up, you can see it kind of looks popcorn y, but it's alright. It'll hold. You go through and you weld the outside if you feel necessary. Because I don't have the greatest welder and I'm not the greatest welder. I'm going to weld the outside just to make sure I do not want to break this and have to restart. So that's the next step, just to weld the outside. Again, as much as you feel necessary, and go. Okay, so now that everything's done, weld it on, should be as simple as that. There we go, and there we go. That is the how to get around the problem if you lose your locking key.